Artificial intelligence is all around us. It's in our phones, it runs our homes, it's in our TVs, appliances, cars, and much more. It touches many parts of our lives, whether in jobs or our personal time. And many people truly have no idea just how prevalent and powerful it is. In fact, we've been working with AI a lot farther back than many people realize. How long have spell check and grammar checks been around? What about email spam protection? These are rudimentary examples today, but they are a significant foundation of how we define AI, albeit a rapidly changing landscape. Now, today I'm going to review the details of what it means to use one key area of AI in Azure called Cognitive Services. And we'll use just one example of an interface that you can interact with using the bot framework. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to say thanks, as always, for all of the support of this video blog, where I talk about Azure, data services, and occasionally some professional and personal development. All of the comments, likes, and encouragement are greatly appreciated on this journey of helping y'all disseminate some of these technical topics. Please remember to like these videos, and as they come out, share them, and tell your friends to subscribe. Every interaction motivates me more and more to build additional content. All right, so jumping into today's topic, when discussing AI within the Azure landscape, we do so with three major themes in mind. First, we want to boost the productivity of developers and data scientists and empower them to build AI solutions that much faster. We want to enable these AI solutions to be deployed at scale alongside existing systems and processes. And we want to ensure organizations can build with full confidence, knowing that they own and control their data on a platform that adheres to some of the industry's most strict privacy standards and has the most comprehensive compliance portfolio of any cloud provider. With that in mind, there are also three main focus areas of AI solutions that are provided in Azure. Today, we're going to focus on the discussions around AI apps and agents, or cognitive services and bots, which you can think of as your human to computer interaction through chatbots, voice, and websites. In another video down the road, we'll cover knowledge mining, which really equates to the next generation of enterprise search. And then finally, in a third video, we will look at our Azure machine learning services and the suite of offerings across that portfolio, where we're able to capture and run various algorithms against the data that you're loading to predict something that will happen based on the trends of that data. From there, we'll continually add data to that machine learning model, call it, and then run the algorithms again. This will give us the ability to increase our predictions based on each pass and help our model get smarter and smarter. So now, talking about AI apps and agents, we're going to look at the Cognitive Services suite of APIs as well as the bot framework. Cognitive Services covers five main areas. Speech, like text-to-speech and speech transcription, Vision, which is like things like facial recognition, ink recognizer, and video rec uh, video indexing. Language, or for language understanding, uh, translation, and text analytics. And web search, so you think about Bing video search, or Bing news search, and Bing images. We also have a newer category called decision, which goes a step further than observing the world using speech, language, and vision providing users the ability to have recommendations to enable informed and efficient decision-making. Now, this is applied to things like content moderation and anomaly detection to make sure that those are being handled appropriately. Azure offers the most comprehensive set of capabilities of any cloud provider. And at this point, there are so many capabilities within the Cognitive Services APIs, it's too many to list in this video. But I wanna show you a complete picture of what we're offering today that are in GA. 
And of course, there are many others in various stages of public and private preview. What's even more exciting is that if you need to have these services on-prem because of data portability restrictions, uh, regulatory reasons, things like that, you can run them in Docker containers in your environment. And although not all of the cognitive services are available to, con to be containerized, for the ones that are, it's a continued commitment to a flexibility for our customers to be able to use the Azure cloud on-prem, in our cloud, and in other cloud providers. If you don't have another way of interacting with cognitive services, we also offer an end-to-end -end solution for, for bot development. You can use the Microsoft Bot Framework to easily build and test bots, and then deploy and manage those bots using the Azure Bot service. A bot can be an embedded in your website, a custom app for a smartphone or a tablet, through partnerships with social networking providers, you can embed them in Microsoft Teams and several other places. This gives users a bunch of options for convenient interaction with the previously mentioned cognitive services. Bots also go far beyond a simple and answer session from some canned set of responses. Bots can be used to analyze text, pictures, audio, and video when you couple them with those cognitive services counterparts. Now, we've seen some awesome uses for bots in cognitive services, and our customers have saved tons of money in overhead and dramatically improved their customer service and their customer experience for the companies who are deploying bots. At the time of this recording, bots are exploding and being deployed in an average of 3,000 bots per week. So you should definitely check them out and see what they can do for you and your company. I'll throw some links in the notes section below so you can get started with all of these offerings for free. That's the best part. Otherwise, uh, that wraps up our video for today. Don't forget to reach out with any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvements and like this video and subscribe to this page. I really appreciate all the support. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.